So here we are on the road to West Virginia. So Gary, you excited about this West Virginia trip? Yeah. So we're going to be going to the penitentiary in Moundsville. We're going to be going to the Palace of Gold, which in the game we all know is the Palace of Whitey Pats. So Gary, how many hours do you have in 76? Have you played 76 for? Zero? Zero. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Out of all the fallouts, Fallout 1, 2, 3, 4, and 76, because you know that's how we count four, yeah. then 76, which is your favorite of the fallouts? 76. <laughs> I, I honestly did not expect that as an answer, but good job. I like that answer. behind me is the West Virginia State Penitentiary, which I would like to note only has one N in the spelling. Unlike how everyone in the group chat has been spelling it lately with two N's, I think they're doing it on purpose. You know, it's not paranoia if it's true. Yeah, this is a really sheer cliff. But if you get too drunk, there's this really neat feature where if you get too drunk at the bar that's no longer here, there's just this nice gradual slope that you can roll down this hill. You'll get enough speed and momentum. It'll carry you right into the front door of the penitentiary. It's a beautiful system. See, it's spelled with one N, not two N's, one N. I'm Penn, two N's for Penn. That's one N. I am not related to the penitentiary. where I was chasing Ma Tater around the Caribbean Ocean Sea. It's like an ocean, ocean sea, either way, you can't swim across it in a day, so it's the same thing. And then I was like, I'm gonna have a few days to get back to normal life. I can have my stream of anniversary. Start a day early Wednesday night. It'll end sometime Thursday. I'll cap it at 24 hours. No way I'm gonna get enough subs or bit equivalencies to last the whole 24 hours. <laughs> Definitely not gonna get in four hours, no. Um, so amazing. It, I know. <laughs> so then I'd have Thursday night and all of Friday as a buffer before I started this second trip to West Virginia. And that didn't work out. Um, I feel like I just finished that subathon. I know that I didn't. It's probably been like maybe more than 24 hours, maybe less than 24 hours. It is the next day, but it's just so weird because I completely kind of blacked out afterwards with a very well earned sleep. You know, someone told me I would get like the best sleep of my life. They were right. It was amazing. I have been awake for over 24 hours once before in my life for my trip to New Zealand. And that I was awake for like 27 hours. 
when I was really nervous, I was really, really nervous a few hours into the subathon, like, oh my gosh, what have I got myself into? How can I do this? I don't think I can do this. What are the limits of human staying awakeness? Because I'm not a fan of energy drinks. And I never had any actual energy drinks. I took about four sips of the Bob Ross energy drink, which was aggressively flavored. You would not expect that from Bob Ross. Anything yeah. to do with Bob Ross. No, it was aggressively flavored. And um, yeah, I realized though, about four hours into it, that on most Fridays, and you're gonna be very mad at me about this, Gary, I'm up for like 21 hours um, during the school year because I get up at 5.30 and then I stream until one or 2 a.m. And then I try to go to bed right after. Next thing I know, it's usually 4 a.m. It's 3 or 4 a.m. Unacceptable. It just what happens. I definitely never fell asleep at my computer after a stream before. That that would be awkward. So we started here at the palace. We walked all around. We said hi to the cow. Happy cow. Happy cow. We walked around and now we're here. And we're gonna go to the peacock. It says there are other happy animals that we'll see along the way. <gasps> An elephant? Fishies, swans. swans. We're elephant? We're after the peacock. And a giant swan. Yes. I can't say why, but for some reason I'm a little nervous about that. I'm sorry, they must be so annoyed right now. We we saw the humans, we swam up to the humans, and the humans didn't have any food for us. How rude. <laughs> I heard someone wants some attention. Hi. Hi, peacock. We're not allowed to feed you. Or else I would. Hi. If there was like peacock food. Oh, 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 oh. Time to go to work. <gasps> oh. That was not pretty, though. It was time to lose that one, buddy. <laughs> I feel very special because the peacock gave this to me. They say you can take them off the ground and take them home as a personal treasure to remember your trip. But he walked up to us, he wiggled, and he dropped it right in front of me. So I think this is an extra lucky one. Everyone else is like, it's not a pretty one, Penny. It doesn't have an eye. I'm like, you know what? I don't care. He did the best he could. He gave me the best he could. That actually is the games that are out there. Oh wow, I did Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm proud of you. You made it all the way through to the end. If you want me to be even more proud of you, you should come by and see me on Twitch. It might be live right now. Then again, if I'm not live, I'll still be proud of you if you watch one of these two videos.